What do you think will happen to you when you grow old? I'm gonna tell you. Your family won't give any credit to what you say. Your doctor and your boss will try to get rid of you ASAP. And everybody will laugh when you'll try to use a computer or whatever they're gonna use in that time. Growing old is scary and it's even scarier in the world of ageism. Ageism is stereotyping and discriminating individuals or groups on the basis of their age. Meaning that as you get older, people will treat you differently. And since nobody's getting any younger here, I think we should do something about it before we become the discriminated group. Seriously, I'm scared for my ass. In workforce, old people are not desirable candidates as the employers and the society see them through stereotypes as weak, slow, forgetful, and less creative. Research showed that in America today, firms are over 40% more likely to interview a young adult job applicant than an elderly one. In Europe, all job candidates get between 39% in Belgium and 72% in France less job interview invitations than equal candidates who are younger. Employers are also likely to encourage early retirement or layoffs for older workers. When a young person feels bad, we are concerned, but when an old one does, we think that's normal because they're old. And it's not just us, it's doctors as well. And yes, they are often right, but not always. Some symptoms might actually come from other factors than old age, but go undiscovered. According to research, there is less screening available to older people compared to younger ones. Meaning a disease is discovered later, which is never really a good sign. Sick older people are less likely than younger patients to receive all the necessary treatments. Doctors pursue less aggressive treatment options in older patients, avoiding new prescription drugs. The approach to older people's treatment is concentrated on managing the disease rather than preventing or curing it, which can be really hurtful to them and to their family. Yet, ageism can also be found inside the family. As people age, families tend to treat them differently and refer to them as cute, confused or childlike, which sounds very sweet until you consider how diminishing it is. With each year passing, elderly slowly lose their voice, their choices become limited and their independence is reduced. We are the ones who make them feel left out and often take away their power to make their own decisions. We often pity or patronize them, like when it comes to technology. You know what I mean. The elderly people are considered hopeless before they even touch a smartphone. Even if 6 out of 10 elderly people today have internet and half of them have Facebook profiles. Can you imagine how lonely it would be on the social media without them? But seriously, there will be just more and more old people as the baby boomers are aging. Because those babies are retiring right now. And there's a lot of them. But ageism doesn't end here. On the other side of it, we can find the Generation Z. These are people born from the year 2000 on, plus minus 5 years. They're often pictured by boomers themselves and the media as irresponsible and technology addicted. How exactly are the teenagers being discriminated, you ask? Well, just like elderly, they are expected and pushed to behave in a certain way. But unlike the elderly, the expectations for adolescents are constantly changing. Each birthday and grade come with new expectations. Society tends to ignore or dismiss their ideas because they don't have enough knowledge or experience. At least according to smart adults. But how can you get knowledge and experience? Education is more expensive and getting a well-paid job is a challenge. Adolescents are paid less than older workers and it's harder for them to get jobs. Employers usually don't even consider hiring them as stereotypes paint them as irresponsible and less capable. In the United States, a person must generally be at least 14 years old to seek a job, which is hard if not impossible task until you reach the age of 60. Many companies refuse to hire workers younger than 18. Minimum wage laws in the US and UK allow for employers to pay lower wages to younger workers. But why are we discriminating, you ask? Because both of these age groups are making us feel uncomfortable. They don't fit in the perfect world portrayed in the commercials. Teenagers are sometimes making it messy, loud and confusing. Elderly people, on the other hand, are a constant reminder to the rest of the population of mortality, possible disabilities and dependency. So what can we do? As caregivers for elderly and for teenagers, we can take their views into account and help them in their independence as much as possible. As persons, we can start looking at them as people, as equals, and try to put ourselves in their shoes, not treat them like we are superior to them. 
And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Now tell me in the comments, do you see ageism in your day-to-day -day life? Yes or no? I definitely see it and I even see myself participating in it, even if I don't want to. Now that I know about it, I can fix it. Like the video and share it so more people can learn about this problem and we can fix it together. Subscribe to not miss our next video and see you then. Bye-bye.